Good morning, Lancers. Did you know it's National Education and Sharing Day? So let's share some news. First up, tonight at 7, the Modern Earth and Make a Change Clubs will be hosting a movie night in the quad at 7 p.m. The movie is Moana. Entry is a donation of either gently used blankets, towels, or dog and cat food. There will be snacks and drinks to purchase, so come hungry. All money raised from the concession stand and the donations collected will go to the Beagles and Buddies Sanctuary, a no-kill shelter. Bring chairs, blankets, and pillows to stay comfy during the movie. See you tonight at 7 p.m. for Moana. Now here's Carissa for religious announcements. What's up, Lancers? Just a reminder, students who are going to adopt a grandparent today will meet in room 104 right after school. This coming Monday, April 10th, all service hours are due. Don't forget to bring your service hour verification sheets to the small faith community. The Faith in Action class will be hosting an Easter egg hunt next week. There will be eggs filled with treats placed around the quad. Anyone can participate, so keep your eyes out for some eggs. Back to you guys. Attention Lancers who miss your class period time or meeting time to complete your AP test registration. You need to go to room 104 at 1 p.m. to complete your paperwork. See Ms. McCullough if you have any questions. Hey Lancers, our very own dance team went to nationals last weekend. Let's take a look at their journey. This past weekend, Richie Arce and I had the privilege to go to Dance Team Nationals competition at the Long Beach Convention Center. We caught up with a few dancers to ask them how it was. Congrats on last weekend, dance team. So how did you and your dance team prepare for nationals? Uh, well, actually we've been preparing since December. We go to different competitions throughout the month and uh, we practice from week to week and it's just a really like strict schedule that we try to... So what was your favorite part about nationals? Um, the team bonds that we shared um, throughout the day. We didn't just compete, we went to uh, Long Beach, we went to a team dinner, there was a pool thing that we did, and just bonding with my team in general. So how did it feel performing for the last time at Nationals? Um, it was a bittersweet feeling because uh, dance has been something I've been doing for years, and especially in high school, like I've been doing it since freshman year. So it was a good feeling, but sad at the same time. And what was your favorite part about Nationals? Just being like in the hotel and making like new memories with my teammates. What was it like performing for your last time at Nationals? Um, honestly, it kind of didn't feel like my last Nationals, but at the same time, like after every single one of my routines, I was like really sad because I was like, this is the last time I'm doing this like for high school and like, well for like my, at least my high school dance career. So it's kind of sad. But I was like happy because I was like, it's my last one, like finally, like it's gone by so fast, but it's sad because I want there to be more, but there's not. <laughs> what was your favorite part about Nationals? My favorite part was the whole thing basically because I get to be with my team for the last like couple days of our season and we just get to soak up everyone's presence and like just make those last couple memories and just the whole weekend's a fun experience being with our team. like. Whether we win or we lose, like it's just fun being with them. Thanks, Julian and Richie. If this inspired you to want to go out and dance, dance team tryouts are next week. Please be sure to turn in your applications and teacher recommendations by Monday at the latest. Tryouts will take place next Monday through Thursday, 3.30 through 6.30 in the dance room. Both males and females are welcome. There will be both a JV and varsity team, so all levels are welcomed. If you think you got what it takes, then try out. And if you have any questions, please see Ms. Devera in the activities office. Attention juniors and seniors, prom is almost here. Ladies, all dresses need to be approved before prom, so start looking for that perfect dress. All female students attending prom, including guests, will have to submit a picture of their dress. Be sure to check out the school website for more info on prom, as well as dress code guidelines, or see Ms. Salcedo if you have any questions. The absolute last day for dress approval is Monday, April 24th, so make sure to turn in your colored image of your dress soon. Attention all seniors, applications are available in the College Center for the Kathleen Taylor Scholarship. This is a special memorial scholarship named in honor of an alumna which only Almont seniors can apply for. Applications are due next Thursday. Hello all answers, drop by the library during breaks or after school to see the Upcycle exhibit featuring fashion designs from the fashion, textile, and apparel class and learn about the true cost of fashion. Each piece is a transformation of old thrift store clothes into beautiful garments. This week, a group of students went to Manzanar to learn about the harsh realities that occurred here. Kicho captured the moment.
our English teacher, Mr. Rodriguez, aka DJ Twist, gave us software engineers the chance to relive the Japanese journey at tournament camps. And now, we're going to Mazinar. Hi, so my name's Mr. Rodriguez. Uh, these are my colleagues. We have Mrs. Lehman, Mrs. Rogers, and Mrs. Aloro. This is a standard stop on the way to Manzanar. We always come to this park. We left about 8 a.m. this morning, so we've been on the road for about four hours. So normally when you visit Manzanar, you go into the visitor center and you watch a movie. Um, our students have already studied the novel, Farewell to Manzanar, and uh, they've learned all about the history of the events leading up to the internment. About 15 minutes, we'll be there at Manzanar. History can and often does repeat itself. If you don't watch out for your rights and you let people take advantage, they will. Could you imagine getting off this bus and this being your home for the next three years? Because that's what it was. Out here in the middle of nowhere, you could look all around, there is nothing here at all. There were 541 babies born, 150 people died, 146 of them were Japanese American. This is a block. Just pretend like there's 20 buildings in this little place and then times that by 36 and that's Manzanar. So the monument was built in 1943 uh, by Ryozo Kato. You know what the people born in Japan are called? Yeah, well some people call them Japs, but no, it's Issei means one, first generation. And their children who were born here were called Nisei, which is for the number two. And then the next generation is Sansei. So from reading the book to now and seeing Mazinar, uh, what are your emotions? What are your full emotions, Mr. Rodriguez? You know, honestly, I feel kind of sad being here and knowing uh, that so many people lived here and died here and this is part of their history. And uh, kind of imagining what it would be like to be here during that time. How about you, Kicho? Hmm, what I feel, uh, I connect to this because I'm Asian. So okay and and yeah, it's just very emotional, very sad. So now that we're in Block 14, we're going to talk a little bit about daily life. How did it mess up family life? They didn't eat together as a family. Didn't eat together as a family? Back in the days for Manzanar, they, um, they didn't have any kind of privacy. Showers and also the same No privacy. While they were sleeping. Wind would come through the cracks of the woods. Right. And so when you wake up, you have sand all over your face and your body. Um, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, I've read the book twice, so... You know, obviously when you read a book, you kind of get a picture in your head. So to get that picture you have in your head and kind of put it in front of you, was a, it was a cool experience. Some of these Japanese, they were Americans already. It's pretty sad because it makes you realize how privileged you are to like be at home and be with your family. So I, I came on this Manzanar trip because I like history and because I'm in yearbook. So I took a lot of pictures on this trip, but the one that was like really cool was taking the picture of everyone at the end. We're like a man's in our family now. So I have to say that was a really, really good trip. Uh, the weather was perfect. We had an excellent tour guide. Um, she was really passionate. And I think all of the kids that went really remember the experience because of what she said. And I hope they went home with memories and an impression on what happened here during World War II. And I hope this is an experience I'll never forget. Thank you, Kicho. Are you interested in becoming a leader for your class and want to help make next year great? If you think you have what it takes, pick up an ASB class officer application outside the ASB office. Please read the entire application and be sure you meet all the requirements. You must submit a current grade report and cover letter with your application. Applications must be completed and turned in this Tuesday, April 11th. A mandatory meeting will also take place that same day after school. See Ms. Lehman if you have any questions. Seniors that would like to be included in a computer display for the class of 2017 in the front office should bring copies of their college acceptance letters or emails to Mr. Scott. Seniors are also encouraged to bring copies of any academic or athletic scholarships they have earned so that they can be properly acknowledged in the graduation program. Next Thursday is the deadline to submit these materials. If you went to Sadie's, then come out and pick up your pictures. Please come by room 505 any day after school to pick up. Also, there are still lots and lots and lots and lots of father-daughter, mother-son, and homecoming pictures still left in room 505. Don't you want your pictures? Pick them up today. Attention all seniors who are planning to attend Mount Sac in the fall. Placement exams will be given this coming Tuesday after school in room 206 at 11.15. No students will be allowed to take the exams unless they have completed the application process. Have any questions? Please see Ms. George in the counseling department. 
Next Monday, Maker Club will have a Lego build at lunch in Lab 109. Bring your own artwork and share too. Thank, Thank you, Lancers, and enjoy, enjoy the, the cultural, cultural assembly. assembly.